We're doing chapter 4, section 5, number 15, linear approximations, also known as tangent line approximations. So we want f at 1.9, or 0.9, which is ln of 1.9. But obviously, we can't do that in our head. So we want to find a way to approximate it, and that's going to be through linear approximations. So we're going to do the tangent line. They told us at this point, 0. And the reason, when we plug in 0 here, we know ln of 1 is 0. So it enables us to um, have know the point, and we can do approximation. So f of 0 is ln of 1 plus 0, which is ln of 1, which is 0. So we know the point of tangency is 0, 0. So we need the slope, but the slope is going to be the derivative. So we find the derivative. Um, derivative of ln of box, that's going to be 1 over box times the derivative of box, which is 1. So to find our slope at the point of tangency, which is 0, 0, we would find the derivative at 0, which is over 1 over 1 plus 0, which is 1. So we have the slope. This gives us the slope of the tangent line. And we're given that point. So here's the equation of any line with a point and slope. We know y1 is 0, and x1 is 0, and the slope is 1. So we have a pretty simple tangent line approximation. <clears throat> Sometimes people put L of x as for linear approximation. So to find f at point 9, the approximation is L at point 9, which is just point 9. What's going on here? Let's look at the picture. So they ask you to graph these to help you figure out what's going on. So let's look at the graph. So here is the ln of 1 plus x. And we did the equation of a tangent line at 0, 0. So we saw the point of tangency was 0, 0. We found the slope. And so this line right here, which is this line, which is that line, is that red line. So here is the concept behind it. <clears throat> we cannot figure this out in our head, because who knows the ln of 1.9 in their head? Nobody. But we can find the value at that point there by plugging it into our linear equation. So we can find that value. Now, looking at this, it looks like a pretty big error. If we're doing at 0.5, that's not too bad, or 0.3, the error would be very small. So I expect a fairly large error here because it's pretty far off. So let's calculate all this. So this is our, an approximation of f of 1.9. To find our error, or percent error, you have to find the amount of error. So it's the actual value. We have to put that in our calculator. Or I could just do ln of 1.9 minus the approximation and divided by the actual. So you want the amount it's off divided by the actual times 100 to get percent. Now, if you do that, you get about 40%. Now, let me double check on my calculator here and see if that's correct. So we got ln of 1.9 minus 0.9 divided by ln of 1.9. Yep, so it's about 40%, 40.2%. So that's the percent error. And that is question number 15. So just make sure you get an understanding of what we're doing. We're using a line which we can find the value at any point on the line pretty easily to approximate the value of a curve. 